I'm a heavy equipment mechanic, and I have a DVS in construction machine mechanics. I should mention, we're 550 meters underground right now. We also have a garage at 810 meters deep, which is quite impressive. Uh, the first time I realized that, I thought, wow, that is really deep. If you haven't experienced it, you don't know what a thrill it is. I work underground, and I repair and maintenance heavy equipment. What I like most about my job is that we keep track of the equipment we repair. When the equipment we repair leaves the garage and doesn't come back, I figured I've done my job right. Sometimes we have to look for unusual problems and make the right diagnosis. New technology helps us a lot to quickly identify a problem. Now we work a lot with computers. I'm a mining engineer. I have a DCS in mineral technology and a bachelor degree in mining engineering from Polytechnic Montreal. I'm in charge of planning the work required to run the mine, like drilling, blasting, sublevel caving, backfiling, and excavation and ventilation. Everything we need to produce the ore that contains gold. You know, we need a lot of underground components to extract a ton of ore containing material, including electricity and compressed air. All that represents big engineering-related challenges. Today, with new technologies, we can mine in areas where we couldn't a few years ago. Plus, jobs will evolve to focus on more specific tasks, like operating remote control trucks 985 meters underground. At that point, we'll hire more people skilled to operate these new technologies. I'm an underground surveyor for Hecla Quebec at the Casa Berardi mine, and I have a DCS in civil engineering. I was attracted by the challenge of geolocation. You don't have GPS underground like you do at surface, so it's a long process and there's a big risk of making mistakes. I wanted to learn more about it. That said, new technologies are used more and more in surveying. For example, theodolites, our topographical instruments, measure everything automatically. Before, we had to do a manual setup with a ruler and protractors. Now it's all done by computer. What I like most about my job is the diversity. In the morning, I'm underground, and in the afternoon, I'm at surface, processing data and layouts. We handle everything, development, production, and exploration. But when you finish your day, you're pretty proud of what you've done. I'm an underground development miner at Casa Berardi, and I have a DVS in ore extraction. I grew up in the industry. My father is a mining engineer. In my job, I do ground support and explosives loading. Today, for example, we're extending a tunnel, and I'm operating the scoop. I'm emptying the tunnel of sterile debris. We do that after a controlled explosion that was done on an earlier shift to clear the space. We face challenges every day here. We work in different places depending on the day plan. We have to be able to visualize, manage, and analyze various locations to do our job safely. It's a great profession and a fun job. We learn a lot. I like having a chance to advance, to make my career, and maybe even to become a foreman one day. Dream big. Choose a career in mining. Looking for a fascinating profession? Choose among over 50 college, university, and vocational study programs. 